Good evening and welcome to our evening prayer, again in white and gold, uh, celebrating St. Bridget of Sweden, an extraordinary woman about whom Father Roy very eloquently reflected this morning. So I wanted to reflect instead, if I may, of the alternate saints for this day, Father John Evans, Father Philip Lloyd, two Welsh priests, two men who uh, found themselves serving in Wales, one native one having come to, to Wales from, from England. Both of them found guilty of being priests, found guilty of a public uh, ministry in Wales and therefore condemned to death and martyred. They knew what they were doing. They knew the risks they were taking and yet... <coughs> that desire to serve God, that desire particularly for his people to receive the Eucharist and the sacraments drove them uh, to give their lives in that service. It's humbling that we find it so easy, uh, perhaps particularly as priests, but as people, for the celebration of the sacraments and of the Eucharist. Uh, we, we perhaps come to take it for granted, so much so, that we even pick and choose occasionally as to when we'd be at Mass or when uh, we'd receive the Sacrament of Reconciliation or whatever it may be. There's something about persecution which causes you to reflect on that which is truly important, truly central in your life. It's not <coughs> that we seek out persecution, but we do perhaps pause for a moment and just reflect on the incredible blessings that God has given us. We pray that we will take full advantage of the opportunities that we have for prayer and to grow in our life of faith. We particularly pray for family and friends and those to whom we're called to minister, that we may help them to truly uh, realise that presence of God to find the fulfilment and the joy which he brings. <coughs> the angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, and she conceived of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now <coughs> and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done unto me according to thy word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, <coughs> now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the word was made flesh and dwelt amongst us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth... <coughs> Pour forth, we beseech you, O Lord, thy grace into our hearts, that we, to whom the incarnation of Christ thy Son was made known by the message of an angel, may, by his passion and cross, be brought to the glory of his resurrection through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. O God, come to our aid. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Alleluia. For all the saints who from their labours rest, who thee by faith before the world confessed, thy name, O Jesu, be forever blessed. Alleluia, alleluia. Thou wast their rock, their fortress, and their might. Thou, Lord, their captain in the well-fought fight. Thou, in the darkness, drear their one true light. Alleluia, alleluia. 
O may thy soldiers, faithful, true and bold, fight as saints who nobly fought of old, and win with them the victor's crown of gold. Alleluia, alleluia. O blessed communion, fellowship divine, we humbly struggle, they in glory shine, yet all are one in thee, for all are thine. Alleluia, alleluia. Lord, your servant rejoices because you have saved her. I rejoiced when I heard them say, let us go to God's house. And now our feet are standing within your gates, O Jerusalem. Jerusalem is built as a city, strongly compact. It is there that the tribes go up, the tribes of the Lord. For Israel's law it is, there to praise the Lord's name. There were set the thrones of judgment of the house of David. For the peace of Jerusalem pray, peace be to your homes. May peace reign in your walls, in your palaces, peace. For love of my brethren and friends, I say, peace upon you. For love of the house of the Lord, I will ask for your good. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Lord, your servant rejoices because you have saved her. Like an everlasting foundation, like everlasting foundations on a rock are the commandments of God in the heart of a good woman. If the Lord does not build the house, in vain do its builders labour. If the Lord does not watch over the city, in vain does the watchman keep vigil. In vain is your earlier rising and your going later to rest. You who toil for the bread you eat, when he pours gifts on his beloved while they slumber. Truly, sons are a gift from the Lord, a blessing, the fruit of the womb. Indeed, the sons of youth are like arrows in the hand of a warrior. Oh, the happiness of the man whose filled his quiver with these arrows. He will have no cause for shame when he disputes with his foes in the gateways. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Like everlasting foundations on a rock are the commandments of God in the heart of a good woman. <clears throat> God's own right hand has given her strength. She will be blessed forever. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us in Christ with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places. He chose us in him before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and blameless before him. He destined us in love to be his sons through Jesus Christ, according to the purpose of his will, to the praise of his glorious grace, which he freely bestowed on us in the Beloved. In him we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of our trespasses, according to the riches of his grace which he lavished upon us. He has made known to us in all wisdom and insight the mystery of his will, according to his purpose which he set forth in Christ. His purpose he set forth in Christ as a plan for the fullness of time to unite all things in him, things in heaven and things on earth. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. God's own right hand has given her strength. She will be blessed forever. <clears throat> From the letter to the Romans. We know that by turning everything to their good, God cooperates with all those who love him and with all those he's called according to his purpose. They are the ones he chose specially long ago and intended to become true images of his son so that his son might be the eldest of many brothers. He called those he intended for this. Those he called, he justified. And with those he justified, he shared his glory.
God has chosen her. He chose her before she was born. He brought her to live in his own holy dwelling place. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. You have left all things and have followed me. You will be repaid a hundred times over and gain eternal life. My soul glorifies the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Saviour. He looks on his servant in her lowliness. Henceforth all ages will call me blessed. The Almighty works marvels for me. Holy his name. His mercy is from age to age on those who fear him. He puts forth his arm in strength and scatters the proud-hearted. He casts the mighty from their thrones and raises the lowly. He fills the starving with good things, sends the rich away empty. He protects Israel, his servant, remembering his mercy, the mercy promised to our fathers, to Abraham and his sons forever. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. You have left all things and have followed me. You will be repaid a hundred times over and gain eternal life. Through the holy women, let us pray to the Lord for all the needs of his church. Lord, remember your church. Through the women martyrs who overcame death with undying courage, strengthen your church in times of trial. Through the married women who grace the lives of the human family, renew the church in her apostolic mission. Through all the widows who sanctified loneliness with prayer and hospitality, may your church a telling sign of your love for all the world. Through all the mothers who introduced their children to the kingdom of God and true human life in society, may your church bring all to eternal life and salvation. Through all the holy women who live in the light of your glory, grant to the faithful departed the everlasting vision of your happiness. give thanks in particular for all mothers who serve the Lord by the handing on of the faith, particularly reflecting that one of St. Bridget's own children became as declared a canonised saint. We pray too for the priests particularly who serve in Wales. And thanks for their witness and for the sacraments they're able to share. visited this afternoon a long-term parishioner, promised that we, we keep him very much in our prayers. We pray too for Joan Kennedy and for James Dunn, that they may rest in peace. And we pray for our diocese, praying that we may each engage in that mission and that ministry of proclaiming God's word. Lord, the word who is life, may all the people of our diocese grow in openness to the power of the Holy Spirit, so that through a growth in understanding and courage and truly open to your call, we may bear a powerful witness to all around us for you are Lord forever and ever. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, 
Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord God, as St. Bridget contemplated your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, you revealed to her the mysteries of his passion. Grant that we may rejoice in time to come in the revelation of your glory. Through our Lord (laughs) Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. (coughs) And the Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Thank you for your ministry. Thank you, as ever, to to Nick and to Mike and all those who support the IT. May the Lord grant us all a quiet night and a perfect end. (coughs) Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy. Hail, our life, our sweetness and our hope. To thee do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this veil of tears. Turn then, most gracious advocate, thine eyes of mercy towards us. And after this, our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. St. Joseph, pray for us. St. Pius, St. Edward, all holy men and women, 